In this tour, we take you to the affluent inner city community of Elbow Park, located in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. This home's stunning interior was meticulously designed by award-winning DWK Interiors and features five bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and just over 8,000 square feet of living space. We begin this tour up the steps and into the sophisticated foyer. Hey everyone, welcome inside. We're here in the front foyer of this super chic and sophisticated interior done by DWK Interiors and they did a stunning job. Right away off to the left, you have this huge mirror feature wall that has a smoky cloudy effect to it. And when I'm looking into those mirrors, right away I'm seeing this white epoxy flooring. And if you look close enough, it actually has a pearl effect to it. And these dark walls are seen through many areas of the home. This particular dark wall has a hidden closet. I also like these beautiful chandeliers hanging down as well. If you like those chandeliers, you're gonna love what the rest of the home has to offer. So let's head up this step, down this hall, and into the kitchen. Here we are in this stunning kitchen. Right away, you're gonna notice all the black decked in stone, starting with these countertops, leading over to the fridge, up above on the cupboards, and even on the backsplash. And just below the backsplash is the chef-inspired wolf oven and stove. Now you gotta love the range, but I also love the tinted glass up above. Helps show your beautiful glassware. Especially when you have those lights on up there. And speaking of lights, check out this massive dripping light fixture that extends all the way across this whole island. Now, let's talk about this island. That's a floating chestnut breakfast nook that I personally would love to sit at and it's super conveniently located for when you're done cooking, is dish out all your goods. I think it helps counteract some of that black in here. For sure it does. What's in that doorway? Through that doorway is the butler's pantry and this design extends into there and you can do all your prep in there and there's an oversized fridge and freezer. On this side of the kitchen, you have the rest of the Wolf appliances and this clean looking wine cooler. And just off the wine cooler, you have these accordion style doors that open up leading into the backyard, which features a little something we'll show you guys later. When working with their clients, DWK Interiors made this an entertainer's haven. And we're able to see that with this first of many bars. I mean, check out how stunning this is. With the full backsplash being that mirror with that cloudy and smoky effect we've seen at the front foyer. There's also the ambient lighting with the shelving and these brass rods. I'm looking at all the drinks, so I'm ready to have one. <laughs> right, I'm ready to dig into this champagne, but I think we gotta finish the rest of the tour. But once you do grab your drink, you can head on to the next room, which is the main living space. This expansive main living space has a ton of detail starting with this walnut feature wall that has a design to it. I also love those mirrors. They almost look like a diamond ring. Now, if you like diamond rings, check out the rest of this living space, starting with this feature wall. It has a mosaic design to it and a really cool textured feel that leads down to the fireplace expanding across the full length. That texture almost looks like the wristband of a Rolex. <laughs> right? And on both sides, you have the shelving that's all black with the gold Old trim. Uh, I love that trim, but I also like the lighting shining down and all that decor. Speaking of decor, I mean, check out the rest of this space. They specifically picked out each piece and placed it nicely in here to give a really nice effect to it. Heading this way out of the main living space, the fun continues. Down this hall, starting with this powder room. It is beautifully designed. You have the metal gold wall coverings, a floating vanity, and also a stone sink. Now that's a chic bathroom. That is. Leaving the powder room, now we're entering the intimate event space. It's 
So this is the space where all the main entertaining is done. I mean, just look at how expansive it is. And to top that off, you have a piano and cello. I love that built-in shelving behind you as well. Oh, this shelving is all built in and you have the gold feature that we've seen in many of the other rooms with the black on the inside. And down below on those cupboards, you have a nice diamond print. One thing that's pretty cool is built in, but it also looks like furniture piece that was added in here. I agree. And down below from all of that, we have the white oak herringbone flooring, which is seen throughout the entire space here. I love that it helps lighten up this space because you do have a lot of black in here, but look at that fireplace. Right, this fireplace is stunning. It really pops off of all of the black. And when you look above at the top of the fireplace, the ceiling actually has leather inspired wall coverings. Really cool feature. And down below, check out these couches. Like this is for lounging. Imagine this, you got the fireplace on, someone's playing on the piano with those really good acoustics, you're having a drink with some friends, it's absolutely phenomenal. Now this furniture does look super chic, but did you see what's behind me? I know. What behind you there, that is like the main piece of this room and it's this custom made 12 foot light fixture. I mean, come on now, this looks like another jewelry piece hanging down, especially with those gold chain links. What's really cool about those gold chain links, if you actually look from a different angle, you can see that it's actually compiled of a ton of rows of them, but from the other angle, looks like it's just one big piece. I mean, that definitely has layers to it, but look at this table. This has layers to it as well. So this table is actually from a 150 year old Clara Oak tree from the Black Forest Company. Now that is absolutely stunning. And did I mention it's 14 feet long? So you can fit everyone around here. Okay, this is a space I feel like we could definitely hang out in. Honestly, we'd probably host too many parties and it wouldn't be good for us. <laughs> But as we head through this hallway, leaving the room, we're gonna pass the elevator that goes to all levels of the home, and we're gonna head up these stairs and check out the bedrooms. This stunning staircase features tinted glass railings and also has the geometrical walnut feature wall down there and up here that's the same as that main living space. I love that they're tying everything in. It doesn't just end on the main floor. You're seeing that same quality move up each level. Right, it like flows through the entire home. Now as we head this way, we're gonna head into the first secondary bedroom. And let me tell you, this thing is oversized. Check out how big it is. You also have your full en suite, and walk-in closet. Not a bad room, and I also love a swinging chair. I could sit in that chair looking into the backyard all day long. Now heading out of that room and down this hallway, we have the next secondary bedroom. This one too has its own ensuite, built-in closets, and a built-in workplace. And just off of that room, you have the laundry room. Out of the laundry room, we're gonna head past the staircase down this hallway, and we're not gonna go to the left quite yet because that's the primary. For now, we're gonna check out the last secondary bedroom. This secondary bedroom mimics a lot of what we've seen downstairs with the blacks and the golds. And of course, check out these windows allowing for you to see all of the nature outside. Now this has a sophisticated look but I love that right there. All right, I mean, where's the ball? We gotta like get some hooping going on. What a perfect mix. Now, I'll be honest, when I first came in this room, I thought this was the primary because this just keeps on expanding. Like right now, we're in the walk-in closet and across from that, with the built-in shelving and built-in desk, you have a gaming station or workstation. I love the fact that they have a dual use in here. And there's actually a triple use. If we get out of this room and keep on going this way, we're now in the ensuite, but not just any regular ensuite. This ensuite has its own standalone shower, its own standalone bathtub, and I mean, come on, check out this gold light fixture above. It really pops with the black all surrounding it. Really well designed, but you're telling me one of the kids get this room? Yeah, so one of the kids get this room. Leaving this room, we're gonna head down the hall, past the elevator, and into the light-filled primary room. First things first, you know we need to check out the first of two closets in this primary room. 
Now this closet is for the one in the relationship that's got the most items. Behind these doors, there's tons of space with some ambient lighting shining down on there. I love the hardware in here as well. They have that crystal look to them. Oh, me too. What I also like is you can see all of your favorite bags and really put them on display. Did you see the glass on the other side here? Oh, I saw the glass on the other side. I mean, come on, this whole wall has these custom cabinets with ambient lighting shining on your favorite shoes. I feel like we're in a shoe store right now because these are even color coded. What also looks nice is this beautiful chandelier shining down. Right, shining down is right onto your jewelry. You can put all your favorite pieces from your necklaces to your watches. And you can also store your favorite bags on here while you're getting ready. Now, I love that this is nice and bright and white, but I've been told that there's a special feature in here. Oh yeah, there's a special feature. So these lights actually change to different colors, not just depending on your mood, I'm talking depending on your favorite brand. Ah, oh, okay, what brands have we got? All right, so the brands we got, we got Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci, Dior, Emmers. You can choose from any of those, and when you click it, these lights will change to their colors. I'll let you pick what brand. All right, you know what? Let's go Dior. Let's Dior. see what Dior is. Ooh. Ooh, that ain't too bad. All right, you wanna pick another one? You pick one now. Uh, what do we got? I forgot the options. We got Gucci, Emmers. Gucci. Let's see Gucci. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. I think I like that. Leaving the first closet, we're gonna head down this hall and into the ensuite. This ensuite has the same design flow of the rest of the home, starting with the decked in countertops here that we've seen in the kitchen. They accent nicely with these white sinks. I almost feel like we're in a high-end barber or even a salon. Right? I mean, I get like a fancy hotel vibe because the attention to detail is phenomenal. Starting with the herringbone tiling here, leading up to these gold sconces, there's a really nice vibe in here. But did you see across from you? Oh, this shower. There's two shower heads up above that are gold. And of course, you got the shower wand, jets, and this also turns into a steam bath. That's pretty nice, but I also like that this tile has that wood texture to it. Oh, for sure. And through this glass, we now have the standalone tub. Like, look at how big it is and the shape, really unique. What's also unique is the faucet here coming out of the ground. Almost looks like your cane the way you're holding it. <laughs> it does. And to match the faucet up above, you have a really beautiful light fixture. Back in the hall and to my left is where we have the second walk-in closet. Now this closet is more of a dark and wood theme, which I personally love. And also to my left is the water closet, which is separate from the ensuite. You have the gold wall coverings. Now this all leads you into the bedroom. Okay, did we just land in heaven? I mean, it certainly feels that way. The whole design of this room, everything from the colorways to the furniture, gives off a really warm and cozy feel, but also elegant at the same time. It's also light and airy. I think that's probably to do with these high ceilings. Yeah, these are 12 foot ceilings, making the room expansive and helping that on both sides, you have the mirrors. I love that feature wall, but I also love that there's a small little strip of mirror going down the middle as well. Yeah, that's great. Talk about that attention to detail with the design. And even more attention to detail, check out those light fixtures on both sides of the bed that are dropped down from the ceiling. Now those are gorgeous, but I also love the decor in here. I mean, that bed just blends right in, but also is a big statement piece. Yeah, talk about statement pieces. I mean, check out these two chairs here. I could really picture myself getting out of bed with a cup of coffee, hanging out here, and you're just in your own space away from the rest of the house. Yeah, it's actually really amazing. Also, the drapery in here is really nice. It helps make the room extra heavenly. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Leaving the primary bedroom, we're now gonna head all the way up the rest of the stairs and check out the loft area. Here we are at the top of the stairs and at the top of the house. In this loft area, you're getting so much natural light because you got windows on both sides. Over here on the left, you have the built-in cabinetry, you got a fridge and a sink. So this could almost be like a small little wet bar, but I think this is more set up as like a craft room or an office. I mean, check out this huge island here. What kind of crafts do we have in here? Well, let's, let's see if they were doing any crafts. Oh. What is going on? This is candy. <laughs> they must have like a sweet tooth. I mean, what else is in here? What? Oh my candy. God. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe. 
if you get DWK to do the interior design. Maybe they include candy or something? Maybe, or maybe the homeowners just like candy. The homeowners either got to like candy or have their own candy company because these drawers, <laughs> even this one, are filled with candy. I'm surprised you're not ripping it apart and taking everything. Well, I'm trying to keep it professional, but like, if I just take like one, they wouldn't just, notice. Yeah, just sneak one. All right, let's sneak one. Let's see. I, I like these watermelons. Let's go with these watermelons. Hurry. Remember, you can't tell, hey, you viewers, you can't tell anybody that I'm doing this. So I was, what if they take inventory? <laughs> they, if they take inventory, we are screwed. So if we go missing, you guys know what happened. But as I take my candy and chew it, I would then sit in this area. Now that I'm done eating the candy, we got to finish this upper loft area. On this wall here, we have the built-in cabinetry shelving that extends all the way on this side. And over here is the built-in desk and the TV wall. Perfect for this lounging area. Right? I mean, I would just grab all of that candy, take out that whole drawer, set it here on this coffee table, put on my favorite show and go to town. See what's behind me here? Now this is super cool. So right away you would think this would be metal, but this is actually wood. Really cool feature and design. And across from that, through this door, is the top deck patio, which is perfect for tanning. And down the hall behind me is the elevator and the bathroom. All right, we gotta wrap up this upper loft area because I'm about to dive into more of that candy. So for now, let's head all the way downstairs and check out the lower level entertainment space. Down at the bottom of the stairs, we're now in the lower level entertainment space. The great thing about this is it actually has its own entrance that leads out into the front yard so people can just enter in and come right here instead of going through the whole house. And just off that doorway, check out this stunning bar. Right away, my eyes are fixed on that backsplash that has that mirrored effect and also those floating shelves where you can put your favorite bottles. Now, this is a great space to hang out, but look what's behind me. Oh, behind you is the shuffleboard right in the center of this big space. And this shuffleboard table was custom made and actually from the same maker as the dining room table up above. It did look familiar, but did you see this wall covering? I love that wood texture to it. Yeah, it's certainly nice. And it actually leads down this hall into a secondary bedroom that has its own ensuite for your guests. And it's also an additional bathroom and a gym. And there's an entranceway that leads into the garage. Well, I think it's about that time we head out and check out that backyard. I think we got to. You guys have been waiting long enough. Let's go check it out. Once you're done entertaining inside, the owners can bring their guests outside through these accordion style doors to bring the party out here. And the first thing you're probably gonna do is get your grub on where you got the outdoor kitchen with this barbecue and this pizza oven. Now I know I would use this so much and let us know in the comments, would you use this? I wanna know what kind of toppings you're throwing on your pizza. I'm like an all dress guy. I'm throwing everything on and yes, pineapple does belong on pizza. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> of course. So as we flow along here, you have this outdoor space here that can double as the swim up bar, which we'll get to in a little bit. And you also have a fridge to keep your drinks cold. It's a great summer kit. Kitchen. For sure it is. And as we come across here in the center of this space, you have this oversized table that actually doubles as a ping pong table. There's little slits that pop out and you can put a net on and start playing. That's pretty cool. Also, if you look at the chairs, they almost match the mesh that would go on a ping pong table. So if you misplace the net, you can probably just cut this and kind of string it along. <laughs> but as we move along here, if you look above, it's actually covered with heaters. So if it's raining or it's a little bit chilly, you can use it for more than just the summertime. I also like the pendants up there. They certainly are stunning. And now when it is the summertime, like it is now, and it's hot and you want to be outside in the sunshine with family and friends, this is where you're going to lounge. And when it gets a little chilly, you can turn on this big rectangular fireplace. Yes, yeah, definitely a great spot to lounge. And you could also come and lounge on this side. Now you might be thinking, wow, this grass is super green. Well, it's going to be green all year round because it's artificial turf, which also means it's maintenance free. You don't got to cut no grass. Now, I wouldn't say green all year round. <laughs> I forgot about the winter time. This will be covered in snow and it'll be white. But as of right now, 
we could hop in this pool to the left of you. Oh, for sure. So instead of cutting grass in the summertime, you're gonna be hanging out in your pool. You're gonna go up these stairs and head on in. Now, the unique thing about this pool is that there's some stairs going down, it's dark, and it's actually more of a soaking pool. So you can have it nice and chilly, so you can cool off in the summertime, or turn on the heater and enjoy it in the wintertime. Well, that was definitely unexpected, but I think that's the end of this tour. I think we gotta end it. We hope y'all enjoyed this tour as much as we did. Now we wanna give a big shout out to DWK Interiors for allowing us to showcase their work. Now, if you want an interior as stunning as this home, be sure to check the description below. We'll have links for all of DWK's details. We also wanna give a big shout out to Grand Touring Bentley Calgary for bringing in that luxurious Bentley. Now, if you're wanting a Bentley like that to pull into your driveway, be sure to also check out the description. We'll have links for that as well. My name's Tyler, and that's Jaden. We're with Property Grams. I'll make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay tuned for all the latest tours. But enough of that, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>